I got off the leash, told that boy to get lost I got your bitch favorite song on TikTok I'm in your house, posted with a big lock I got a shooter, he looking like baby Santana He kinda little with some dreadlocks Glut 19 with a beam at your head top Pull out the AK-47, aiming at you, that's a dead off And I got a little nigga wondering like What is this shit on my head, it's a red dot What's going on with y'all, bro? I'm back from the video As you're gonna read by the title I'm finna give y'all the best jump shots in the game, I pretty much know all the best jump shots, so you know, so I'm offering to get out the sauce. But before I get to the video, if you are new to the channel, make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and if you join the content. But I ain't gonna hold y'all long for too long. I'm gonna hop straight into the video, so I'm gonna hop outside the arena. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the jump shot creator. If you're using a number jump shot, click out the video, bro. You know what I'm saying? This video not for you, uh, you like 50 years behind. So, uh, these bases, um, basically go off the 2k lab uh kind of kind of green window list whatever uh you could say something like that but um if you didn't know the upper releases don't really matter the you only that you pick an upper release so that you can find out when you release a jump shot they kind of have no effect on the green window the base has the most uh effect on the green window for a jump shot so the most effect so for the sake of the video i'm just going to use really good uh upper release um on every jump shot because it's probably the easiest release to time so i'm using really gay four to four speed for every jump shot respectfully if you don't use four to four check out this video bro <laughs> you know, i don't waste your time so first jump shot jump shot three um this is jump shot i use currently if you want to see me use it you can obviously tune into my twitch stream stuff like that but jump shot three is a jump shot i use now um jump shot 98 uh, this is probably a, this is a little bit of slower jump shot. This is kind of a corner shot or like a like a kind of like a bigger player jump shot. If you're like a big man or a lockdown, this is, this is the jump shot that you should use. Um, if you can't time base three, some people say that base three is too fast. Understandable, but um, it kind of, I feel like base three just kind of takes some time because when I first started using base three, uh, you can kind of go back to one of my old streams or something like that. Uh, I was shooting a lot of lates. I was shooting a lot of lates. I was shooting a lot of very lates as well. Um, so it kind of takes time to get used to, especially when we're using 98 for like the past two years. It takes time. Um, but 98, if you can't use jump shot three, use jump shot 98. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't have to use jump shot three to green every shot. You don't need it. Um, but if you like a slower, more, more slower pace, because some people like slower jump shots. It is what it is. Slower jump shots are easier to time. So if you want a slower jump shot, that's pretty much green if you know what your timing is then jump shot 98 might be a jump shot for you and uh another base that you can use is ray allen base this is a really good base for a kind of a uh i would say a 610 player and taller four out of four speed this jump shot is cast i'm telling you pure ray allen you can use ray allen release one release two ray allen four out of four speed green i'm telling you but the right badges green straight greens bro i used to use this jump shot back in 2k20 when i was on when i played on like people's power forwards accounts and stuff like that this is the jump shot i use ray allen release one release two ray allen four to four speed no blending because it's the, it's all ray allen but ray allen was the jump shot i use and it's smooth it's smooth as hell um you can you can also use ray allen as an upper release too if you really like ray allen some people like ray allen um to me the upper release ray allen is kind of inconsistent like it'll be straight greens for about a week and once you get to that point the that that second or third week point it, it'll you'll start shooting more white more and more whites so i kind of stick with rudy gay because i feel like rudy gay will go broke sometimes but it'll go right back to being green so i stick with rudy gay because that's my favorite release um another base you could use is dante exum this is a this is a jump shot that mostly locks use or locks and bigger sharps they they use this if you're like six i would say i would say maybe like a six a six five lock or a six six sharp but mostly locks use this in the corner and uh power forward so like i said this is more of a it's more of a it's it's a little bit it's a little bit i believe it's to be honest this jump shot 90 is kind of the same this just kind of has more of a funky look but uh this jump shot definitely has more blinders to it uh without a doubt this is what people use post draft and uh if you can't use 98 try dante x you might not you might like it you might like it a lot more blinders especially for uh, uh corner shooters 
it just it just makes this it just makes your release uh get off a lot easier so if you don't like 98 in the corner you want something a little bit a little bit more smoother you can use uh dante Axum. um like i said another base you could use is where is it where, where am i going set shot towards all right here it is set shot, set shot 25 this jump shot is OD quick. This is the second fastest jump shot in the game. Behind base three, this is the second fastest jump shot. So if base three ever goes broke for you, put this jump shot on, bro. I'm telling you, this jump shot, I've seen people use it with my own eyes. I believe, personally, this might give you more blinder shots than jump shot three. I've seen someone use this. I played against somebody with this. He was on a 5'10 guard. And he was just shooting blinders like crazy. Everything he shot was wide open. So, uh, I, I think personally you should give this a try. I give it a try. I shot straight greens, but some people that some people told me that it's a little bit harder to time in prime. So I just stuck with base three because I didn't use base three. Base three is perfectly fine to me. Base three Rudy Gay, and I saw. You know what I'm saying? If it's if it if it's not broke, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? But might not be the case for you. You know what I'm saying? So if jump shot three doesn't work for you, try set shot 25 with a really gay, really gay uh, upper release. And you might like it, you know what I'm saying? Because I liked it when I used it in rec. I didn't miss a shot. Well, I missed it. I missed the first couple shots. It, it took a little time to get used to, but you get what I'm saying. Once I got it down, I didn't miss. So set shot 25 is the shot you want to use. And um, another base I can give you is where is it? Steph Steph Curry base. Steph Curry is a really good base too. Uh, this base is what some people used last year for uh corner shooters this base is not really a, a a point guard uh type of base it's more of a spot up jump shot so uh if you like to create your own shot on a lock kind of like if they hit you and you're not open you know take a take a take a take a step to the side and shoot a jump shot you know what i'm saying this jump shot is for you it's it's, it's pretty fast it's pretty fast um you can honestly use pure curry in the corner but i recommend using a different upper release i was like some people don't know how to use curry jump shot so use ray allen or a release like vince carter or clay thompson or something like that and it'll be perfectly fine for you, you know what I'm saying? but uh the last base i'll give y'all is dwayne wade base um it's kind of the same as 98 in my opinion uh 98 and d wade is literally the exact same jump shot or the exact same base but um d wade has a different up release so but some people say d wade is more green because less people use it you know what i'm saying that myth that the more people use the jump shot the the more likely it is to become broke so some people use d wade and it says more green so if you have trouble with 98 but you like the way it looks just just throw on d wade and you should be fine so i'm gonna get this video nice and short for y'all uh, if y'all did enjoy the video uh make sure you like comment subscribe if you're new uh if you have any video suggestions be sure to leave in the comment section below i will be streaming on twitch tomorrow uh or today actually uh X hoodie Dre on this oh no it's X hoodie Dre on Twitch. Uh I will be streaming my uh prime series. But uh that's pretty much it for the video, bro. Like I said, if you do have any video ideas, leave them in the comment section below. I love it, y'all. I appreciate all the support y'all show me. I'm back on YouTube, I'm back on this grind. Without further ado, bro. I'm out, bro. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nah, I'm out, bro. <laughs> Also, if you need help, uh, here are my shooting badges. I forgot to put this in a video, but like I said, if you do need help with shooting badges, put these badges on. Um, if you don't have that many badges, you can take off blinders. You can take off uh, stop and pop if you're in the corner. Um, you, got to, uh, you won't have mismatch if you're in the corner, but these are pretty much the badges that you want to put on if you want to shoot straight greens. But like I said, I'm out. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next video, bro.